Mauritius International Financial Services has been operating in the funds industry in Mauritius for over 20 years. Peggy Subaya, Senior Director at IFS, joins us now for more. Peggy, I understand you're going to provide us some insights with regard to the private equity sphere uh, in Mauritius. The landscape at the moment, what exactly does it look like? All right. Um, as you know, um, we, we have been um, in the private equity business, IFS itself. I've been there for 20 years since the inception of the industry in Mauritius. Well, um, we, have ha we have 20 years of experience with the Indian market. And now what we are trying to do is to leverage this experience over the African continent. And uh, we have done, in terms of the government initiatives over the past uh, few years, we have invested a lot in terms of uh, positioning Mauritius as an ideal destination uh, for investment uh, within uh, Africa. Peggy, you're making great progress. The latest World Economic uh, uh, Forum uh, report shows that you are getting even stronger in global competitiveness. Is there a is there a can-do mood or an exciting mood in Mauritius as a result of these kind of international accolades? Yeah, I mean, um, Mauritius has been, in the financial sector, Mauritius has been uh, positioning itself as a very strong uh, international uh, financial center. Um, we are very well positioned to service both uh, the Asian market as well as the African market. And we have a close ties with both um, the western side of the globe as well as the eastern side of the globe. Um, as, you, as you mentioned, um, Mauritius has, over the years, uh, provided um, the appropriate framework, ecosystem to attract investors. Uh, and uh, recently we have seen, uh, as we are speaking, more focus on Africa these days. We have put a lot of emphasis uh, on, on the continent. We have been positioning ourselves through a lot of road shows, etc to get to know about Mauritius as a conduit to invest in Africa. Well, we have, for the past seven consecutive years, we have been ranking uh, as the first country in, the, in, in Africa in, ter in terms of the Mo uh, Ibrahim Index, uh, the ease of doing business by the World Bank as well. Uh, and 19th globally. I think it's because of a lot of advantages that um, Mauritius offers. Uh, for example, for Africa, you, as you know, we have been dealing and collaborating with Africa for so many years. We are part of African community. We are part of the SADC, of the COMESA, Indian Ocean Rim. And there are some intrinsic advantages by uh, being in that community such as uh, duty-free trade, subsidy on uh, freight exports, etc. But over and above these, there are other advantages that Mauritius uh, provide. Um, we have a bilateral agreement, for example, with many countries uh, of the world, like the uh, double tax avoidance agreement. We've got 30, some 39 overall, whereby we have 24 in Africa, out of which 14 are effective. We have investment protection and promotion agreement with many countries. Um, and people and, and countries um, benefiting from these agreement uh, can leverage uh, in terms of the tax advantages as well. We have a very efficient, tax efficient jurisdiction in Mauritius. Um, for example, um, we have a corporate tax of 15%, and if you benefit from the treaty, you have a deem tax um, uh, credit of 80%, which make it 3% at the end of the day. No capital gains tax, no withholding tax on dividends and interest. Um, over and above this, we are a bilingual population. We have the right skills and pool of labor. So, all these advantages together, I think, um, position Mauritius well as uh, a destination uh, and as INFC of repute and helping investors across the world to invest in emerging markets to developing markets. Piggy, that sounds uh, like a fantastic story and that Mauritius is really positioning itself quite well. But coming back to Alex's point, uh, is this filtering through to the average man on the street who is taking up these opportunities to partake in this economy? Yeah, um, um, 
what, what, what we've seen, for example, um, in Mauritius itself, 25% uh, of the tax, uh, of the corporate tax of the government, government comes from uh, the global business. And there's a lot of contribution of uh, the global business to the community. We employ 3% of, of the employment. There is around 10% of GDP contribution to the economy. And we, ha we have been, for example, IFS, the company where I come from, invest massively in terms of corporate social responsibility. And we participate very actively in uh, contributing to the community uh, development and issues within the country. Myself, I'm a member of the CSR committee within IFS. And I must tell you that the four main areas of focus that we do is in terms of alleviation of poverty, uh, education for the most deprived, woman empowerment, and social housing. And we grossly encourage our own staff to participate in these programs so that they are aware of the technical, uh, of the social issues that's happening, not only in Mauritius, but around the world. And we support a lot uh, our uh, small island around Mauritius, which is Rodrigues, which is from parts of Mauritius, so we don't forget them. We have also a lot of initiatives targeted towards uh, the, the, the population of that country. Well, Peggy, thank you so much for your time today. That was Peggy Subaya, the Senior Director at the International Financial Services in Mauritius.